All right, so this is the inside of the door. I haven't uh, put the covering on this side yet. I'm going to. I'm going to put the canvas and glue. However, I'm coming up with a unique way to open my door. I don't want just a big handle on the outside. Yes, you could do that, but I want something a little fancier. So I'm using this NFC opener, which NFC stands for Near Field Communication. It has little chips like this, or even a, a card, and you wave in front of it, and it'll pop this pin that's in there, and the door will pop open. So it's kind of like a secret actress ac access. You just wipe this in front of it. I can show you how that works here in a little bit. But I'm first going to melt this little area here and actually counterset it. All right. So I'm taking this is actually a uh, wood um, burner tool, and I'm just melting it away. Seems to work pretty well. It's the first time coming up with this idea. This is actually my wife's. She just told me it stinks. Probably does. Probably don't want to breathe those fumes. So yeah, I'm gonna set this camera down so that I can uh, kind of get it flat. Okay, we're just letting it cool off now. Just kind of inserted it like that. And I'll give you an example of how it's going to work. All right, it's a little colder outside, so I thought I'd actually come inside and do a little bit of work. So a little bit different backdrop. But quickly, thought I'd give you a tip. So again, I'm working with this gold bond. And again, I'm using the uh, dollar store brushes, just because I don't have to clean them up once I got the glue on them. But I also pour in to these old, well, I think this is a sour cream container. Something like that. Yep, sour cream. Oh, you heard my guest. I have a special guest that I want to introduce to my channel. Hey there. Hi. What's your name? Aiden. Aiden. And how do I know you? I'm your grandkid. And you're my grandkid. Yeah. All right, you're not my granny kid, you're just my grandkid. Yeah. All right, you're going to help me today, right? Yeah. Come over here. All right, let me show you what you can do. Brush this off a little bit. Can you brush that glue on there? Yeah. Looks like we're gonna have to get some more glue probably. So let me dip this for you. Dip. There you go. We want it to glob right on. So I'm working on the door. As I showed you, the spot for the lock. Got that. <clears throat> but we're gonna finish gluing up the whole edge here today. That's what Aiden and I are going to do. You're doing a good job there, Mr. Aiden. Yeah. You know, you're going to be a YouTube star, right? Maybe. Leave a comment down in the section below, down lower there, and tell Aiden how he would like that, wouldn't you? You're getting that paintbrush thing down pretty good, the twirl. Good job. You're a pro. Sure. Sure. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I haven't put too much up lately. Uh, one, the weather hasn't cooperated that much. And two, I've just kind of been a little bit busy with stuff. So I hadn't done too much, but I'll give you an update. And I'm also going to do a little bit of work today on the... Uh, hatchback or the the back door however you want to look at it um so let's switch here <clears throat> i got a little artwork i saw it on facebook and i really liked it so i kind of duplicated something similar to it and it's not done but that's my outline i'm gonna have that logo as you can see on the front let me know in the comments if you like that uh i'm gonna paint in the american flag a little bit uh and the Sasquatch in the middle, or Bigfoot, he's going to be black. And I'm going to have some edgings of black along the uh, the big guy right there. And then the lower section is all going to be black. So, yeah. That's what I got going on. 
with that. Let's see, I don't even remember where I left off. Like I said, I'm gonna be working on the back hatch today. I just took it off to start working on it. Let me move this out of the way. Even though it's foam, it's still got a little weight to it. It's probably a good 20 pounds, the back hatch. I had this on here, just blocking out the rain on the edge, because I don't have, I have, as you can see, the door now hinged on. <clears throat> and I think I did mention that I'm going to be doing NFC to get in. Got that all set, ready to go. I'm still going to do an edging for one to protect rain on the outside as well. I'm going to uh, put one on the inside to seal it. Uh, I do have the I, paint, I put a coat of black semi-gloss paint down. I'm going to do another one. It's pretty close to dry. And that'll just give me a little extra protection. And of course I do have to get wood for the ceiling. And I do have that wall texturized with the uh, the paper. Let's see if I can see that a little more. There we go. With the paper. And I do have this wall as well started and the inner of the door which will be black. And none of it's all finished yet. They all just have one coat. So I'll be adding more to that. I did hit a little paint while I had my brush wet and went over the fiberglass with even a little bit of paint. So I have glue and paint on there to make it even stronger. And I went over that over all the fiberglass. So yeah, it's, when I shake it, it actually shakes the whole trailer so those sides are down it's really strong Let's call it my little egg so anyway <clears throat> that's kind of my update and I am gonna be working with the back today that's putting that hatch on or actually maybe not on but uh, I'm gonna be adding a 2x4 across this section here because I got a teardrop hinge so I need to actually attach it to other than something other than foam. So, yeah. All right, like lately, the rain has hit in again, darn it. However, Gorilla Glue, like wet, it actually does just fine with the wet surface to uh, glue. I now attach the two by four I cut in half, like so. Yeah, it's raining. I do have this protected, and I have the other half attached right here, like so up a little bit more there we go <clears throat> attach like so and having that dry even though it's raining so anyway I think I'm gonna call this little guy little Sasquatch because the mural of course but uh, I think I'm gonna end this one here sorry I hadn't done any updates lately we're getting there however this weather is just not cooperating it's rained I think every day for the past seven days and it's really starting to come down now. Awesome. Well, again, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like. I would appreciate it. Bye.